and welcome back to my channel. So, we will see the scapular anastomosis. So, anastomosis is the meeting up of two or more arteries. This is the scapular region. That is called a scapular anastomosis. So, scapular anastomosis is one of the important five mark questions. Okay, so, anastomosis is the two scapular. One is around the body of the scapula. Scapula is the body of the scapula. Two is the acromion process. Scapula is the acromion process. We can see the anastomosis. So first we will come to the body of the scapula. Body of the scapula is anastomosis. It is between the branches of first part of the subclavian and third part of the axillary artery. So subclavian artery is further axillary artery. Axillary artery is further brachial artery. Brachial artery is further divided by radial artery and radial artery. अल्लार आर्टरी है मारो, ओके बाप, सो इन्दर नम्बर पर्टिकुलर इन्दर सबक्लेवर आर्टरी यू, एक्सिलरी आर्टरी यू, नम्बर थ्री पार्ट्स आर डिवाइड पढ़ने हो, फर्स्ट पार्ट, सेकंड पार्ट एंड थर्ड पार्ट, सो आंधा मारी पाकर रखो, फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ़ द सबक्लेवर आर्टरी लिंग में ब्रांचेस बरो, आंधा ब्रांच body of the scapula. That is the diagrammatic representation. So, this is the scapula, this is the artery. First, this is the subclavian artery. Subclavian artery. This is the first part, second part, third part. Okay? Subclavian artery is the further axillary region. It is continuing as the axillary artery. This is the axillary artery. So, this is the first part, second part and third part. This is called as brachial artery. So, that is not the case. So, first of all, the subclavian artery is the first part. This is the subclavian artery, the first part. And the axillary artery is the third part. This is the axillary artery. Third part. So, in the third part, the branches are coming. The first part, the branches are coming. The branches are coming around the body of the branches. Scapula. So, we have to learn the anastomosis. So, this is the body of the scapula. This is the acromion process. So, this is the acromion process. First, we will see about this body of the scapula. Anastomosis is first part. So, for the clear understanding, I am using different color. First, the first part of the subclavian artery is one branch. That is called as thyrocervical trunk. Thyrocervical trunk. So, in the thyrocervical trunk, there are 4 branches. One is inferior thyroid artery. The other one is ascending cervical artery. Ascending cervical artery. One is transverse. That is called as transverse cervical artery. This one is called as supra-scapular artery. This is called as supra-scapular artery. This is called as supra-scapular artery. So, in the supra-scapular artery, in the transverse artery, we will play the role in this. So, we will see about these two branches. So, in the supra-scapular artery, supra means above. So, in the scapula, it is called the supra-scapular artery. In the transverse cervical artery, what do you do? One is the superficial branch. This is the deep branch. This is called as deep branch. Okay, so in the superficial branch, how do you do it? So deep branch is on the anastomosis. So deep branch is on the anastomosis. It will be giving branches around the bodies of the scapula. Okay, that's it. In the suprascapular artery, it is direct. It is giving a branch here. So, anastomosis is the moon arteries that meet up. This is the same thing. So, we will learn two of them. One is the supra-scapular artery. Another one is the deep branch of the transverse cervical artery. First part is the same. So, the third part of the axillary artery is the branches. The first part of the subclavian artery is the same. Now, the third part of the axillary artery. So, this is the axillary artery. The third part is three branches. One is the anterior circumflex humeral artery, posterior circumflex humeral artery, known as the subscapular artery. I will name it. This is called as anterior circumflex humeral artery. This is the posterior circumflex humeral artery. This artery is the third artery is the subscapular. Subscapular. So, it is called the suprascapular artery. It is called the 
sub scapular artery. So, the sub scapular artery is further divided. One is circumflex, circumflex scapular artery. So, this is circumflex scapular artery. This is thoraco dorsal artery. Thoraco dorsal artery is the deep branch of uh, transverse cervical artery could anastomosis. So, three arteries on the uh, in the body of the scapula anastomosis. One on the suprascapular artery that is suprascapular artery directa. Second on the deep branch of transverse cervical artery that is the deep branch of transverse cervical artery. And third on the circumflex scapular artery. This is called as circumflex scapular artery, which is a branch of subscapular artery. If on the around the body of the scapula. Now, we will second part that is anastomosis over the acromion process. Acromion process is the first part of the subclavian, first part of the subclavian artery, second and third part of the axillary artery. Anastomosis. Branches of the first part of the subclavian and branches of the second and third part of the axillary artery. Then, this is the first part of the subclavian. This is the second and third part of the axillary artery okay wow. so idu vandu nama eppadi paakalam inda suprascapular artery irukku liya suprascapular artery inga varappo or branch kudukum that is called as acromion branch so acromial branch so in the acromion process la varakudi ella branch periyume and the acromial branch da moon branch irukum the three names of the branches are acromial branches only so adanal confuse aagum enda first branch vandu from the suprascapular artery first part la irundhu vandiruchu ipo second part la vandu or artery varum that is called as uh, thoraco acromial branch thoraco thoraco acromion branch so in the thoraco acromion branch vandu or naal branch kudukum 1 2 3 and 4 so first vandu it is one is pectoral branch in one one the deltoid branch, in one one the clavicular branch. Add the fourth one is that is acromial branch. This is the acromial branch. Da. So in the suprascapular in the branch perume acromial branch da. in the thoraco acromial branch in the branch perume in the acromial branch. Da. Okay, second part now the third part. First part of the subclavian artery in the varakudi branches and then pathache second part of the axillary artery in the varakudi branch and then pathache and third part of the axillary artery la posterior circumflex humeral artery irukku liya the posterior circumflex humeral artery vandu or branch kudukum that is also known as acromial branch this is also known as acromial branch that is all about the scapular anastomosis so it is the anastomosis between the branches of first part of the subclavian and the second and third part of the axillary artery. Moon is the acromial branch. Okay, wow. First one the acromial branch one the, it is for, from the thoraco acromial artery. Second one the suprascapular artery. Suprascapular artery then posterior circumflex humeral artery. So this is all about the scapular anastomosis. In clinical anatomy you don't advantage abdina, any blockage in the axillary artery or in subclavian artery le, the blockage abdina, where arteries one the blood supply good karnala, there will not be any necrosis in the during the injury of the scapula. So this is all about the scapular anastomosis. Hope you are clear with this topic. Thank you. And if you have any doubts or suggestions, please let me know in the comment section below. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.